Hey guys, this is uh, Spencer Defense Training. I'm uh, going to go over an another little segment. I'm probably going to be adding uh, little short segments. I uh, try to keep them under uh, five or ten minutes. I, I've got a big video on the uh, YouTube channel if you want to go check it out. It's the intro into church security. Um, but I'm going to start doing smaller segments because I know a lot of people don't want to sit and watch two hours worth of stuff. Uh, so I'm going to kind of break it down into smaller segments. Uh, and today, I just want to touch on what I brought in yesterday um, is basically the law of firearms uh, in a church. All right, so the law of uh, the South Carolina law of firearms in a church uh, under the concealed weapon permit program is what I'm going under. Um, if you're class three licensed, you have special permissions and then you, you know, you have to be bonded with the church and all that good stuff. Uh, so I'm just going over concealed carry. I'm not going over law enforcement. Uh, you, you know, your law enforcement officers have uh, a little more leeway than concealed carriers would, um, even retired law enforcement, stuff like that. Uh, so this is uh, your basic uh, concealed carry uh, or concealed weapons permit. Um, even with a concealed weapon permit, uh, you cannot carry into a church or other established religious sanctuary unless express permission is given by the appropriate church official or governing body. Uh, so you have to have permission. It doesn't have to be in writing. However, again, I do suggest it be in writing. Um, and for those of you that are going to church, and I, I, I know a lot of you are, uh, and this is in South Carolina, uh, and I know a lot of people are, are like, well, I've got permission from the preacher. I'm good. It's like, well, uh, not without a permit. You're not. Uh, you have to have that concealed weapon permit to get that permission. Um, I know a lot of it's like, well, it's my religious organization, my church. Well, you're under a 503C, so you're governed by the government. Um, unfortunately, that was one of the ways the government got their foot in the door into the churches. Uh, there's a separation of church and state, but that's not really true. Because uh, that 503C that you uh, made, uh, you're governed by the churches and the churches can govern or the government can govern you. Uh, and under this governing, uh, the concealed weapon permit, uh, you have to have the concealed weapon permit uh, at this point in time. Uh, now, it can be at this time in South Carolina, it can be open or concealed uh, as long as you have permission, but you have to have that permission. It does not have to be in writing, but I do suggest you covering yourself and getting it in writing. Uh, and I suggest the church covering themselves and having, uh, you know, a couple of people. Uh, I prefer three. Uh, you know, we're at the type of church I'm at. We have deacons and elders. So I, I typically um, and a safety team lead. Uh, so I prefer the safety team lead uh, signature, a deacon and an elder signature uh, on that piece of paper, plus your signature, the concealed carrier signature on that piece of paper, and then get it on your phone digitally somehow, whether it's taking a picture of it, uh, whether it's emailing it to the phone, saving it a file, saving it, however you got to do it uh, to have it on that phone. Because uh, if it hits the fan <coughs> and the shooting starts, uh, the police are just going to come in and then they're going to have to, uh, they may have to put a bunch of people in handcuffs. Uh, they see a bunch of guys with guns and they may have to put you in handcuffs. It, it depends what area you're in. Uh, where I'm at may not be so much. We, we're kind of under the uh, uh, more good old boy system here. Uh, it's more country here, but you get into the more uh, um, city liberal areas, uh, Columbia, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, uh, places like that. Uh, yeah, you, you're probably going to handcuffs. Uh, so you want that on your phone. Uh, but I just wanted to cover that because I know there's some of you out there um, that are carrying in the church. And if something goes down and you don't have that concealed weapon permit, um, depending on the location, especially uh, the charges brought forward toward you because you were carrying in a church without a concealed weapon permit uh, could be devastating. Um, and I just want to bring that because I, I don't want anybody to get in trouble uh, carrying in church and, and you don't have that permission per the government. Uh, and I'm not going to get into a whole big thing of my uh, beliefs on the Constitution uh, because I believe the uh, uh, government is uh, way uh, too liberal with their powers as far as the Constitution. And I mean extremely too liberal. Um, but I just wanted to bring that up uh, in front. That way, those of you uh, get your permit. If you don't have your concealed weapon permit, go get your permit. Uh, and I know some of you like, well, I don't want to go. The government already knows. They know you have guns. They 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 already know. Uh, if if you have a phone number, if you have anything, they already know. They know you've got guns. They know what guns you. They may not know all the guns you got, but they know you have guns. Um, so getting that concealed up as permit isn't going to do anything different. You're already doing. Uh, and I suggest getting it. Uh, just go ahead and get your permit. 
Uh, that way you get your permission uh, and then you'll be straight up legal carrying in church. Um, all right, guys, this is Spencer. Just something I wanted to bring forth. Um, I've also, um, I've also heard of uh, um, some people telling uh, members they could, you know, telling members they can't carry into the church is fine. Uh, and, and I don't, I don't believe everybody that has a concealed weapon permit needs to carry into a church, especially if you have a safety team uh, necessarily. Um, now I know some churches are also um, sending out mass emails and just saying, hey, if you're a member of the church and you have a concealed weapons permit, you can carry in our church. And that's fine. I'm not 100% against that. Um, and I'm not 100% against doing that and having a safety team. Uh, I would like to see it announced in church hey those of you you know we've allowed everybody to carry in here we do have a safety team uh, and those of you that are carrying please stand down and allow our safety team to handle the situation unless it gets to your section you know like if they come in and you know you're you're, you're like over here uh, and it starts over here um and the safety team's moving over here, let them handle this until it starts coming toward you. When it starts coming toward you, uh, then you take action, uh, but you don't need 60 people shooting guns in the same direction. Uh, so you got a, a five person safety man, safety team, um, they go over, they take care of the situation, and then if it starts coming towards you, then you need to uh, start thinking if you haven't already started to get out. Uh, Cause that's one of the things, get down, get out. Um, but yes, and there have been people I've seen that said they say, hey, you don't bring your uh, gun to church, can't bring it to church. Well, you can't tell them they can't have it in their car. Um, this says uh, you cannot carry into uh, a church or other established religious sanctuary unless express permission is given. That is into the church and defined under the Merriam-Webster and the Oxford. The church is the building uh, per English standard. Uh, now, as Christians, we know the church as the congregation, but per the dictionaries the law dictionaries the church is the building or the inner sanctuary uh, so you can't tell them they can't have it out in the parking lot unless you have proper signage now you can pop up these big proper signs uh, out in your parking lot i do not suggest it because that invites uh the only now all the mass shootings in america except one happened in a gun-free zone and if you're advertising i'm a gun-free zones like these schools do uh you're asking for trouble and they're going to come shoot up your church uh, so I don't suggest advertising them signs. Yes, you can tell your members, don't bring your guns in church unless you have permission, but they can leave them in their car. Uh, and don't get too overpowering and overbearing and think that, hey, I'm going to tell them what they can and can't do. Uh, just let them leave in the car because there may be one in the car, all the safety team members taken out, but that one person ran around, got to that car, and was able to come back in and do what they had to do uh, to take that person down. I, you never know. Uh, so yeah, just... Uh, with the church, safety teams, you can't allow them to be armed as long as they have the permit. Uh, you cannot tell people they can't have it in their car unless you have proper signage in the parking lot, which I highly do not suggest. That is asking for trouble. That is asking for a lawsuit. Um, all right. Uh, this is Spencer. I'm just trying to bring this to you to shed a little bit of light. Um, stay safe. Stay armed. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video below. Thanks.